wholeness and balanced vibrations family hello hello mm -hmm. i trust you well vibing in resonance coming to you once again collectively you know it's wow to try to know pick one perfect time just to link in and we'll talk about specific topics and making that time so in that trying to get it right you miss so many opportunities so we'll take this opportunity to dive in right here today on a venus day friday you know you're feeling it and bring some love yep, 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 yep. so what was that with crystals yes crystal for today is what zircon zircon I actually brought some here All right zircon so um, we got some zircon zircon is um actually the crystalline structure that is resonant with crystal of the day the crystal of the day is actually um diamond for venus representing the venus and right so we'll, we'll show it up um, we got a few here exactly exactly and uh zircon is actually tetragon which is the crystalline structure that is formed what is the crystalline structure so every crystal has a particular pattern that it grows in naturally similar to your spiral on your fingertips spiral on the back of your head it's your unique pattern that makes you you and each crystal has the same thing so tetragonal is that crystal structure for Zar Khan amazing crystal feels great yeah and um it's a stone of prosperity and um purity i believe but it definitely brings lightheartedness and good spirit so that's definitely one you want to carry on this day tapping into the venus energy um and Zar Khan when it's polished and everything that's your that's your false diamond so that's what you get your zirconia from. So mm -hmm. definitely one to keep when you're trying to keep that, um, I guess flashy, not flashy, but um, mm -hmm. what's the word I'm looking for? Um, sorry, boy. Uh, yeah, showy. Showy. What Energy. What? Yeah, zircon was the only tetragonal we can find that was um, that wasn't like a rare stone. Like a lot of tetragonal stones are. Uh, uh, rare stones and that would cost you know as over the mouse to actually get those oh. bring those for it. Um but right. the Zarkon, I believe. I'm not even the one I can't even look it up. Yes. It's on the website. Oh, right. It's on the internet. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, so Zircon works well with grounding, so base in the root chakra. Mm -hmm. um, and like with most dark crystals, they have those grounding properties. Anyway, so any any if you're going just by color in your chakras, the darker color crystals are going to be good ones for for grounding and connecting with the earth. So no different with Zircon in terms of not the, not talking crystalline structure or anything, but just the crystal itself. Um, great for grounding mm -hmm. and we missed a few days on um, giving insight on the different crystals so today is Friday and for mm -hmm. Thursday is what sapphire is that yellow sapphire yellow yeah. sapphire yeah. so we're gonna talk a little bit about yeah yellow sapphire so yellow Thursday. sapphire is uh in resonance with the um Jupiter the planet Jupiter big gas giant if you follow the numerology specifically the Jordish numerology where Jupiter, yes, giant is the yellow side fire, great mm -hmm. abundance, and it's a eight in the, the solar chakra. So, um, and also resonates with the sacral chakra, and bringing those energies forward. And actually, specifically, its most resonant chakra is the throat chakra. You know, even though it's a yellow stone, um, they actually connect with the, the throat chakra, and actually. The sapphire, I think the most dominant sapphire, I want to say the blue sapphire. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I, I can see why that's throat, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, with the blue. And sapphire is one that's great for grace and, again, for love and business love because yeah. of that courage aspect that goes with it. Mm -hmm. um, just like tiger eye. Mm -hmm. So tiger eye and sapphire, a powerful combination together for courage mm -hmm. and wisdom and being um, confident in your words to speak out. Uh, I didn't think about that. Mm -hmm. So I'm neither. Tiger's eye bracelet <laughs> to go with my yellow sapphire amulet. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I got you. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you look for more, um, more of our metaphysical creations, check out onetribe.io. Go to Tribe Shop. 
and you'll see some of the things there. If you don't see something that specifically that you're looking for, hey, just hit hey, us hey. directly in the, uh, in the DMs mm-hmm. on uh, your pages. Danny underscore Cosmos or Amali Body. That's where you're gonna see a lot of the bracelets, uh, waist beads, ankle bracelets, waist beads and ankle bracelets, including uh, crystals. You can have them added to them as well for that added energetic boost. So, yep. And mm-hmm. one tribe, HMU yeah. on Instagram for right. the total business page. And I be located at cryptus.heru on Instagram. Hashtag. And um, bring it forth. So we have uh, more crystals. Um, this one here is, um, can't see it. I'll put a picture with it. We have a number of them, amulets that we started making, and um, waist beads and crystal bracelets and a number of things. So this one is our ruby. Ruby is most dominant on Sunday. Mm-hmm. Sunday for that ruby energy, um, mm-hmm. aids in the heart chakra, and uh, grounding as well. And we also have uh, the the one sun pendants, mm. the black ones, with a combination of, um, of quartz, shungite, tourmaline, black iron oxide, and a few other things that give it, you know, juice and have that EMF protection needed, and connects with the body energetic field to amplify your energy. And it's extremely grounding and protective, with black tourmaline and shungite being um, transmuters of the, the negative energy. So that's an extremely grounding, protective. Um, combination of stones and elements there mm-hmm. and then of course wearing it um, near your center center line you create that, that, that field of protection around it indeed I'm going to make one right now we're we'll talking and uh, when I make one um, so each pendant takes about six to eight hours to make and uh, go through the yielding process of getting hard and to solidify and then maybe add another a layer to for the um, to hang it as a necklace and then we go to you know add the strings to it so we got some uh, silk string here mm-hmm. you know suggested and um, it aids in this, the irritation of the neck you know one we made previously we had to upgrade it because it irritated the neck just a bit and uh, so now we got this silk string that is smooth give you a little little fancier look a little suave and uh, keep it flowing and with the pendants and all of our uh, jewelry they can be custom made uh, just give us a heads up on what you're looking for. Exactly. And so, and then it's, I know many times, it's kind of tough just for uh, entrepreneurs and uh, speaking specifically for entrepreneurs, um, where we have to wear a number of hats within the business mm-hmm. to to get things going. So sometimes you got to be a web developer. Sometimes you got to be the marketer. And you know, sometimes you have to... Uh, the, you gotta be the creator, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, you gotta you know, be head of the shipping department. Yeah, you can, finance, <laughs> finance, booking, booking. Uh, mm-hmm. It's so many, so many things you have to have to do, and in that process, typically, you know, one gets a little less attention. And this is one of the things that's been getting a little less attention from us is actually, you know, marketing what we do. Right. And I realized, and I continue to have to, you know, come back to this, the surface. You know, if you don't get that lesson, you have to come back again until you really, you know, tap into the space where by by doing, let's say, just the creating and doing the events, uh, many people, they lack what we actually do when they come, when they go check out the website. Like a lot of our people and our plus customers come from online. So they're not here when we do like projects in the community right, right. or we, uh, uh you know, on the move or vending someplace and they don't see that stuff that we're doing or building on another and other spectrum because we don't necessarily get a chance to share that, market it, edit it, you know, get it posted, compressed, right. get the keywords out there, the titles and you know go through that long checklist when it comes to marketing that is is needed but doesn't also doesn't always get a I say uh, fertilized or it doesn't happen. Yeah, it, does. it just doesn't happen. It just don't happen. Yeah, like we yeah. just finished a two week camp in the community, um, reaching out to those. I don't, I don't like the wording that that we're programmed to use, but I was um, great in the projects, right? Projects <laughs> and um, <laughs> right in, in some sub- they, a, a subsidized housing community. Um, brilliant, brilliant young people out yeah, there. Yeah, it was amazing. Um, but we had the opportunity to take them some a camp on healthy eating, body movement, um, mindful breathing, mindful, just mindfulness. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, the key 
being just little small daily changes can improve their way of life how they feel a lot of them are aspiring athletes dancers just children that want to play even so having mm -hmm. having the energy to get through the day so just little small things that they can do differently and take home um to their to their families to improve um mm -hmm. how they live and how they how they operate you know, as we know specifically like the things that we're doing are you no know, major they impact so many lives um it's about learning you know, different ways to breathe different ways to eat at such a beautiful age that um they can take that thing forward and share with their friends. And being that it's so powerful, we know what it is, we still, we just don't have the energy necessarily to, to share it, you know, or capture it on film, mm -hmm. or and, uh, curate it, get it on the site, market it again, but we're doing the work. But that's kinda, that's, it's like uh, you kinda shoot yourself in the foot sometimes, because you wanna do it more, that's why you do it. And just having those, let's say, um, components within your space or connections to actually budget for that as an entrepreneur. Like you mm -hmm. gotta know put the place in the budget or make those time for self to do that additional work or and say additional work. Yeah, I said additional work because it definitely is another uh yeah, case exactly. note. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but even in doing it and not having that, just staying ready so when mm -hmm. you have the opportunity or uh, the, the people that come behind the project that can support and can do that, that you're ready. So you mm -hmm. can't stop, even if it's not getting pushed out, we're still doing it, we're still documenting it, we're still taking the pictures and the videos. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, even on the video like this one, putting it out there, somebody might say, oh, you know what? I got an intern that can help you catalog all of that, video it, edit it, and get it out. Mm -hmm. Just get them the hours, or we can barter for some services. So um, definitely gonna continue doing the work, even though it, it can get tiring. Mm -hmm. But definitely gonna push through and keep it going. <laughs> but and, um, yeah. Can you talk a bit more about the project? Because it's one of the things that we know um, we, we go into communities. And so, we're, as we work with the, uh, a nonprofit foundation here, Auntie Karen Foundation, mm -hmm. who brings arts into the school. So we um, we were tapped to lead the project. It's um, called Gordon, the Jamaican Yam, and he's pre-diabetic. So what we had to create was a um, curriculum, dance. Um, activities, games, everything that teach the children how to teach Gordon to eat better. So we have, um, it's called a Go Slow Woke Game to talk about the foods you can eat all the time, slow down on eating and don't eat at all. Uh, we have a custom dance and song that goes with Gordon, the Jamaican Yam. We have mm -hmm. a curriculum that's written out and can be easily expanded or shrunk down depending on where we take it. Um, and with it we did like community family fun days, family fun nights, and this is the first time that we've done a six day camp with it. And we have another one coming up in July. So it's been a, it's been beautiful. It's been an amazing um, experience. Mm -hmm. And to get it out there and the kids receive it. That's the best part, that the children receive what we're giving. Um, and then out in nature, the camp was out, the entire camp was outdoor because of everything that's going on with COVID. Mm -hmm. um, so we were outside, <laughs> six feet apart, and still able to engage them, teach them mm -hmm. how to make smoothies from the mm -hmm. things, the simple things they have in their house. Mm -hmm. Went to like Dollar General, where they like to say they don't sell healthy food there, and I pulled out all the healthy foods that you can get there, um, right. snacks and different things. So it was, it was good. It was eye opening for us as well. Mm -hmm. Fruit juices that have natural um, fruit juice and no added sugars because the sugar content you'll see will actually be from the fruit. So the fruit itself is your sweetener when you're talking about your juices. But we're gonna use water. And you want, whenever you're making it, you wanna use about half the content of the fruit and water. And you'll blend it until all of the fruit is mixed in. And then you have your smoothie. So, and if you plan it right, you can get most of your um, daily um, serving of fruits and vegetables. So, if I can get Kaija and Robert, can y'all help me hand out smoothies? Again, because I know on the last time we did it, y'all were able to help us make them um, and taste the smoothie that we made. But because of the increasing pages, we're going to give you your own individual smoothie. So, we're going to get y'all to hand these out, please. Trouble. We're gonna get really intense and work it out with the students later because Gordon is not gonna really move until you move with them. So be prepared later on as we come together and we show y'all how we do the dance. We come forward together and show you how we move. And my triumph, hero pose. Uh -huh, I know I am with the East Mento. Move it, move it, move it. 
Family Dollar, these places where uh, Family Dollar, Dollar General, mm -hmm. Dollar Tree, Big, Big Lots, all these places where they're seemingly not the best place to get these things, but there are options everywhere. So and here's the thing, um, it's a trend now. Like it's become the way to eat healthy, to do the smoothies, um, and that's what the people want. So because of that, the stores, more stores offer it. More stores have it available because that's what the what's happening now that's the shift that's happening now this virus is coming around people are realizing they're too susceptible they're getting sick faster they're getting sick easier than others um people are dying from it because of uh, an unhealthy immune system like any virus any any illness any wave of illness so this is the perfect time mm -hmm. to dive into healthier lifestyles mm -hmm. because it's it's so available everywhere in every community um and even the smaller rural community something as simple as catching you know the vegetable man on the side of the road with some watermelon and some fresh veggies mm -hmm. instead of getting the canned vegetables which are fine um i would call it slow food but mm -hmm. um slow whoa go mm -hmm, um but getting getting those fresh vegetables in place of the canned vegetables from time to time just little small things that we're learning make a huge difference in our well-being the little thing and i think you went over it with them with breathing and breathing properly and yeah 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 so again that's uh part of the tantric practices as we know this adds this is human like if you want to master this thing we call breathing we do it kind of uh i don't know when it happens within the timeline like as a kid uh, as a baby you see look at it about an infant and you see their stomach rise go up go down go up go down because they're breathing correctly but I don't know when it happens that the shift happens like very young where we begin to breathe strictly with the upper body mm -hmm. it's just you know we say take a deep breath and and the stomach goes in it's like ah oh, man okay so let's flip this and so we make it kind of fun and interactive where they can see as they inhale like a balloon, their tummy should expand to get it losing that expansion because they're filling their whole lung capacity up and getting used to doing that and even getting those compartments in the back um, for those who, well, we get to that space and we have a lot of time. Um, but then we had a six week, six days, mm -hmm. six day camp. We can do, we've offered, um, we're offering, off, open to offering more 
uh, within the community as we continue to build. Uh, so this is some of the stuff. When you go to our website, onechop.io, it'll be a link that says um, the Gordon Project or something like that. Right. You click that and you'll get a little bit more information. But if you want more, email us directly. Figure out how we can get to your community. We got um, some block parties coming up uh, in, in other cities where we can bring this information to and make it fun you know bring Gordon out he's a big like you said a big Jamaican yam and some of it's already funded some of it's already grant funded to go out into these communities so this is something that we've been able to offer um, with no charge to the participants so it's mm -hmm. been it's been amazing mm -hmm. it's been amazing okay. oh yes nice nice yes. Yes, right, well, thank you. We're going to talk about this. So, again, this is Zircon Day, and you can't see this. I'll have another picture that's closer. But with this is another option of things that we're going to have that we have the ability to make on the site. Some of our new projects where we got you no know, more, um, let's say, another level of creativity we've added to the space to offer more ways of offering the resonance. Because we want to, uh, it's like. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, crystals. How did you fall in love, let's say, with, with the crystals? How did it fall? You? Like, what was that space like for you? I think the first when I first started really researching crystals, um, my first crystal I think I got from Solomon's mm. Solomon's Temple in Colombia, and that was when I was um, first going through my awakening about probably eight years ago and just looking for tools to aid in balance and creativity <laughs> and connectivity so that's what really started and as I researched nah, 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 nah. It, as I researched it, throw it over there walk slowly as I um, learned more about them researched them felt them touched them went into an actual crystal store like I, I just I just fell in love with them because mm -hmm. <laughs> you can actually feel the resonant resonance in them you can feel the power of them you can feel the energy from them and they're just beautiful so mm -hmm. I, from there my love just my love grew into um i think the first thing i did was a beaded bracelet for your mom mm -hmm. and that's when i um, no and that's when i started doing the, the beaded bracelets and it, it's really grown from there hey, how about With, now? Um, how about the now? chakra bracelets um custom orders soda light okay. rose quartz Onyx, obsidian, all, all crystals. I've done all of them, pretty much. Well, no, nah, I've not done all of them. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I've not There's done so all much. of them. I've, 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 there hasn't been a custom order I haven't been able to recreate or get done um, for a customer, and that's that's also bled over into the waist beads and the anklets. The waist beads, of course, um, wanting to tap more into the divine feminine energy and adding the crystals for that added um, boost of manifestation, creativity, feminine energy, all of that because you're wearing it right at your waist. You're wearing it right at your womb, right in, right in between, you know, that root sacral chakra. So it's there. Um, mm -hmm. And then the ankle bracelets. The crystals are there just because they're cute, not <laughs> on the ankle. Uh, but again, depending on the reasoning why you're wearing it, you know, you got your feet right there, so you should foot it and ground it with your crystals and your ankles. Crystals at your ankles, and of course we know, um, not of course we know, but the history of the beaded jewelry coming out of um, Africa, different countries and tribes in Africa. The colors carry different resonance. The places you wear them carry different resonance. The number of beads you carry them, um, the number of beads you wear and placement all have different resonance, but we've made it more um, trendy mm -hmm. than it is so much, um, what's the word I'm looking for, cultural, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So yeah, you know, you can use it to monitor your weight gain, weight loss when you're doing the weight beads, waist beads, um, and the colors represent the yellow is like fertility, red is power and strength, pink is um, grace, and so it's all kinds of different reasons behind the waist beads and the colors and the crystals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the first time I, I think I got into uh, Oregon first. You know, that's my like segue into learning more about crystals. Mm -hmm. And was at a like a, like an RBG conference or something like that. Red, black, and gold. It was like green. And within the community, now has some brothers who came from Rock Hill. And I was walking around, had about maybe twenty dollars, twenty five dollars in my pocket after driving. To, I don't know how long to get to the space. And um, they had a little break in the session, mm -hmm. you no know, building the community session, and um, to you know, support the vendors. 
So I went out there looking around, saw books and pictures and I saw some things. I kept like feeling this energy like pull to a certain direction. I was just like, you know, what is that? And I got to the uh, brother's table. He was like, you know, that's an organ. You know, he had like organ. So I was like, I was pretty much floored, like amazed that that I can feel it. You know, we get, you know, we talk about it. You know, when you be like, oh yeah, you can feel the energy. And then I would hear this, you know, previously, and I was like, I mean, yeah, you can feel the energy in this thing. But I was like, no, I can feel this. Mm -hmm. Like, this is something. Like, I need to know more about this. Right. Like, so he was like, I was like, yo, I was like, I got about $25. I think the price was like 40 something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yo, I came back like three times, walked away, came back. I was like, okay, I can't. Uh, this is about all I can move within my account. The way my account set up, I got checking and savings. Mm -hmm. And how it was like, Five dollars out of savings. Yeah. <laughs> Make your check in ten fifteen. <laughs> right. So I was like, yo, I, I need this, man. Like, what's up, man? So he like, he worked out a deal for me, and I got it. And uh, after that, that was that was the launching point, the catalyst mm -hmm. to continue to look into it. That led. That was maybe yeah, about eight years ago. Or so uh, <laughs> not eight years ago. Um, um maybe five years ago. You know, and then you know, going into that slow in your own space, every time I see the organ, okay, I mean, you learn some more about it. So I would look up different things and properties of it and see what that did for it. And so, like, you know, I'm in the space now where we create our own uh, concoction of uh, metals and inorganic and organic material that aids in generating um, its own electromagnetic field that amplifies our body. Um, yeah, but that was my the origin points. Mm. Like we have, um, so on the site you'll find a few things. One tribe IO, IO we're gonna keep saying it because we work on this marketing thing. <laughs> Tell a friend. Um, we also I teach uh, uh, crypto one on ones. One on ones. It. I don't, I'm not a financial advisor. I just aid in getting. You know, once you get the knowledge, you gotta share the knowledge. Even if it's just one part. You know, kindergarten teachers are freaking amazing. They all teach you calculus and right. and vector and. You know all these little things that, but it gets you to that next space. So I'm able to get you to the space where you can then swim a little bit better, find another teacher. It's a number of them out there, um, but get you on the right path to the future of what current is. Mm -hmm. And um, Afro aerobics, another thing that I do, we're gonna be doing more of, and this is gonna be moving. That's another one of my major physical passions is dancing. So um, gotta get this energy going, get this energy. Flowing, mm -hmm. and me and you gonna be doing therapy. some stuff. Vibrational therapy, mm -hmm. yeah, nothing. Yeah, so vibrational therapy, I probably had about, I don't know, maybe a hand, eight, literally a handful, handful of clients mm -hmm. so far. All, you know, loved it. But we do, uh, I call it a cybernetic therapy or sound therapy. Mm -hmm. We lay down on this. You can't see it right now, but it's a massage table right here, um, where you, we have, have a number of instruments that aids into getting the body into resonance mm -hmm. um, with a number of frequencies, by our beats. Uh, instruments, uh, crystals around, and a number of things that we I put into practice that um, get you where you need to be mm -hmm. and hit that reset. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And I'll be moving more into um, <laughs> blog space because I find that, and it's a common thing that I'm finding that women, um, especially those who wear many different hats outside of just being just being self, um, don't have a safe place to talk about.